Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce the two fighters for the 2024 Iron Man match. Code Sanchez the Challenger and the undisputed Rise to Glory champion, Retro Roxas. Before we begin this battle between two heavyweight warriors, we will start with the American National Anthem performed by Lee Greenwood. Oh, there's a flag here? Oh, shit. I didn't even know there was a flag here. Don't ask. Yeah, this is about a two-minute segment. I'm also gonna, like, this is the glory of being able to cut and edit this. That's because I'm also gonna zoom in heavy onto those flags hanging on. It's just gonna be a cut thing. And then I'll just go on any extra time we cut. I'm going to, like, overextend the cut on it. So that any and all, uh, things like, uh, oops. So that any and all mistakes I could, oops. Easily, uh, put up. And, uh, call it a day. Worst comes to worst as well. I could also, ex like, slow down the, uh, clip so much. To extend the time period. To about two minutes. So, alright. We'll be good. Alright. We'll head back into the corner what yeah I, I was staring at a big guy all right and then we'll be going uh, the cut will be starting from here all right introducing first the challenger from Canada the oh, wannabe champion Code Sanchez And his opponent, weighing in at an even 150 pounds, the undisputed champion, with a current win-loss record at fight night at 33 and 0. Retro. I'm taking off this vest now, sucker. Free reign. All right, we went over the rules inside the uh, in the back. Watch it, grab it, punches. Your kidney punches and keep it above the belt. When you're ready, touch gloves. Oh, wait, hold on. I completely spaced it. Yep. To start this fight, I completely forgot the rules. I'll go and, uh, I'll segmate them into the next match. So, you want a warm-up fight to start this, or do you just want the 12 fights to start? 12 fights now, no warm-ups. All right, the rules will be explained after this first round. Apollo looks like he's going for the knockout. Apollo sends the other man stumbling back. Did that draw blood? Apollo really showing off his power with that blow. Oh, the first knockdown going to uh, going to Retro and the lead, but not by much. There goes his balance. You gotta be oh shit, I completely me. spaced it. Keeping a fair lead, a fair lead. What a hit! Apollo is a complete powerhouse! Look out! Alright, so I'm, I'm gonna go over some of the rules Two, during this. Three! Four! Five! 
six. Oh, good luck. Remember, safety is still key. Yeah, that's probably smart if you need to. When you're when you're ready for safety. All right. Honestly, I deserve that for the uh, extra hits I did that one stagger, so I'm not gonna work about it. Alright. There's that defense I'm putting in. My work in uh, different rings and different works have been coming into play a little bit. My technique has changed, and I'm using more. Uh, I'm trying to keep better quote quote stance, uh, better technique. Over my uh, creed style. All right, look, it's not as one round, ain't nothing. All right, a good warm up, a good start to the rounds. Very close between the two. We are going to now sponsor off the rules of the fight. Now that we have both the warriors ready to go, and proven that they are ready to fight. All right. So the rules of this event is simple. The Iron Man match will consist of 12 games back to back. There will be 12 games, much like Super Fight 2013 or 2023, which had 15, we will have 12. We will have no intermission break. We will have no rest break. Super Fight 2023, at the end of the year, you are given a minute break in between. We will be given no time in between. The only time we get to catch our breath is during the time of which rounds are enabled or disabled. The player who has control over the game and who can change the rules gets to dictate the rules to his or her liking. Any method is allowed, any fight style will be allowed during this event. No method is off the, off the charts, everything is allowed. Victor Drago will not be allowed in tournament. He will be an immediate disqualification and a loss in that round. So if any player decides to take the likes of Victor Drago into game, the round he has been chosen will be taken and given to the opposing player. So for example, if Retro decides to use Victor and he is 6-0, to zero, that win will immediately go to code, making it 6-1 to one immediately. Whether he wins or loses that fight, it's an immediate disqualification. The only rules that's going to be intact for this event is the safety rules implemented during regular fight night. Any previous injuries sustained before fight night, you fight on your own risk. If you come into the ring and you get hurt, the player who is not injured must cease attack as fast as possible, give some break, and let the player take a couple of minutes or a round or two to recoup. If they cannot recover, they are out. Otherwise, they must continue. The winner who takes seven of the 12 rounds is not necessarily the winner of the match. The winner of the match is the player who goes all 12 rounds with the most wins. If, I, if Code wins 10 rounds but does not go all 12, he is disqualified and he is counted out as a knockout. If Code decides to not give his all after winning 7 rounds or at a certain point if he doesn't go all out, both players must use 100%. You cannot go and half-ass your fight. You can plan and change your strategy accordingly to go and reserve stamina or to use stamina, but you have to go 100% to avoid any type of, to keep, to keep the match fair. That way it's, I'm not just standing here waiting to get my ass beat after winning seven rounds. You have to continue fighting and fighting your hardest. Otherwise, all 12 rounds must be completed and the winner of this will be considered the new champion of Fight night, Friday night, as well as Saturday night. And we'll get the undisputed championship and will not have to defend the next following days. Are these rules understood and clear? Alright. Round one, or in between rounds, there will be a commentator, or one of the two of us will go and rehash 
the current ratio. Like in this case, it is 1 out of 12 for retro. It is 1-0 to round 12. We are starting round 2. Bonus stipulation. Because this is the 4th of July, retro has volunteered to only use the following characters. Apollo Creed, Rocky Balboa, Tommy Gunn, Adonis Creed. While using said characters, he is only allowed to use the American printed shorts. If he is using any other shorts, he is disqualified. The only other time that this don't count is if he clicks on a character, say Rocky Balboa, clicks the shorts, or if he has the option selected and it does not change skin, but he has to go and have those shorts on, so he better double check that those skins are in fact wearing the skins. And the likes of Adonis and Apollo, who has multiple skins that give American vibes, you must wear the traditional Apollo skin, which is worn by all Rocky, Donnie, Gun, and Balboa. The only one who's exempt from that would be Donnie, because he has a special unique trait to them. Otherwise, he has to wear pretty much the same thing, no color change, nothing. It must be red, white, and blue. Otherwise, there are no other particular rules set in place. And we will start round two when ready. In this case, Retro has control of the ro rules, and so he is allowed to choose the stadium and such like that. Of course, he will only pick American places. So Washington, Philadelphia, places that are found in the United States. This is Philadelphia, but yes. And the fighting city of Philadelphia. Something to keep in mind as well, Andy and all excuses to a loss will lead into a DQ. There will be no, like I said, no rules, no nothing, no excuses. Everything out is on the table for the championship. Do whatever is necessary to win this event. No. If I did, I would disqualify myself on the spot. At least if I intentionally did it. Oh uh, yeah, honestly, even if I did, I mean, besides my smart ass remark at the start about keeping it above the belt, if you do recall anything, goes just if you dick punch somebody, I expect somebody to get annoyed with that and put you in your place for doing it. A perfect hit from Apollo. A tough start for Code. He's suffering so Three, far only a single four, knockdown to Retro from round one. He is coming in close. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Oh, make that knockdown, I do believe, too. We ain't counting knockdowns, but we sure as hell counting the wins. Oh, oh, we got some good hits going there. Oh, a hard hit from a Oh no, I got lucky that one. Remember, stat-wise also kind of comes into play. I got an advantage of effect for health. Although you are cocky, I'm surprised you didn't knock me down already. Seven. Trying to put on a show. Oh, knock down two. It's going to definitely be a tough uh, fight for the challenger, for sure, I would say. Code definitely is at a disadvantage. All right, ending off round two of 12. These rounds are going a little faster than expected, actually. Ended off round two. Retro two, code zero of 12. Definitely looking to get into the swing of things. Retro switching things up, throwing in Adonis Creed. Retro's choosing the not the not his greatest character of the bunch. A reminder, any, anywhere you want, you you could go to anywhere in America. You could go to the 
England, anywhere you want. Russia, it don't matter. Toad might have to revise his strategy for sure. And Mexico, oh man, we're going. Oh yeah. It just comes down to pure strategy and ability this time. Oh, make him retro back up for a second. Oh shit. The champion realist. One, two. Oh, maybe, maybe. The challenge is definitely getting punished by the champ. I think the champ is making sure to punish him. No, pulling this may be an American holiday, but he's making sure he's proving America stands supreme. Oh, there we go. Very nice. One, you see the. We're seeing the champ kind of cocky right now. He's not even, not even too worried yet. Creed is a complete power. You know, actually, I actually had the idea that if Spartan replied, I was going to take on both of you tonight. If Spartan came on. That was my intention. I'm good. Oh, very nice, very nice. A little, a little work the champ has to do now. Not too worried, the champ. The champ's looking for a clean sweep, if I'm honest. I'm looking for a com I'm looking for a clean- I'm looking for a clean 12-0 against you tonight. I'm proving to you why I'm the champ. One, 12 two, rounds, who knows? You could not keep me down during the rounds, I don't care, but I'm telling you, of all 12 of these rounds we are going, assuming you can make it and you have the endurance to do it, <laughs> I can assure you I don't plan on losing a single one all the way. I have knocked down 3-3 three, three if I do believe it. I told you I'm using one of my worst here. Oh wait, maybe? Did I not knock you down? Hard hit from Creed. Oh, you have me knocked down more than I had you. Okay, I'm getting a little too confident there. <laughs> Four, five, oh, trust me, I ain't moving six. at all. My feet are practically stationed right now. <laughs> oh, never mind. There isn't going to be a clean 12 and 0. Serves me right. Serves me right. We now have 2 to 1 of 12. We are a fourth of the way done with this endurance fight. Oh, and we spent about 20 minutes here. A fight that is predicted to be anywhere from an, about 45 to an hour and a half is the expected time for this fight. Oh, you good. Remember, I ain't, we ain't stopping for very much. You lucky I'm not worried about it. You lucky I don't care too much about the... Am I not? Oh, I don't care. Use what you need. I don't need no, uh, I don't need nothing. Compared to Spartan, which I will definitely say, amongst the two of you, Spartan would have been the harder fight of the two of you. Then again, that's a problem if I get cocky to, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Quit lagging out. That was bust day. Look, I have defeated you I don't know how many times. And I've done it flawlessly. Look at Friday night. Use the past fight night we just went through as motivation. You just remember last Friday, I TKO'd you three to zero. Actually, yeah, no, it was three to zero of championship rules. Everything was running in my favor that night, and I went running, and I was doing extra work. Not to mention, I still took down Spartan that week. All right, let's go to Mighty Mix. Use past wins to motivate you. Two or no? <laughs> Maybe two knockdowns. Oh. 
Okay, that that was a off. You know what? You know what? I'll leave. I'll even let you if we get a 12 round. Originally, I was going to take and say that the 12 after the round 12, if you couldn't go and TKO me, and it ends up being 6-6 six, six throughout this tourney, it was just gonna go to me. But I'll let you get that hidden round for a tiebreaker. So if you could even manage to t draw this up 6-6, six, six, I'll go and call it a. Uh, I will give you a fair advantage shot for a round seven. But I don't plan on letting you get too much. The title Undisputed stays with me for a reason. He answers with a hit. The idea is to try to wear me down. You gotta get me to sweat. Spartan does that. You see, compared to Spartan, you gotta remember, when was the last- have you ever fought Spartan since going to Quest? Exactly. When you fight Spartan, you will understand why it's so tough to get me to- It's gonna be a tough- What you want to form a limitation? One, two, if you manage to get more, the more three. you start winning and the better you start doing, the more effort I'll probably deploy to beat you. If I'm honest. One, two, three. Like I said, the closer you put me to TKL, the more effort you're going to have to put me through. Once you start getting me, and I'm going to tell you how you start working. You want to exhaust me? Remember, I faced Spartan in a 12-man fight. Out of 12 fights, he won two. I fought Spartan. Fart, Spartan pushes. I faced Rexy in a 15 back-to-back. -back and walked away. I faced him twice in a match like that, and I made him go TKO in round 8. Because he had head that problems, and even if he had, didn't have them, I would have TKO'd him. In one sitting, that, that, that's unlikely because your fucking controllers would have died. That or you have some real long controllers. Determination is charge your controller. That or you guys were throwing real quick hands for a real long, or a real quick time. I don't know about a hundred fights, but you guys probably played a good hefty amount, but I'll give you credit on that one. Uh, oh, because you won there, you think you could win there again? Then you're going to keep picking this map for a lucky map. What a hit, Apollo. I noticed you ditched that uh, no hit, stagger hit style. I think you're starting to realize it's gonna. Oh, I think you realize it's gonna take a little more than just a, a few hits. I think you realize you're gonna need that. Apollo you're not gonna. The other He's wide open I think now. you just realize that you're gonna need to go and uh, not hold back. Get me that drink. I think you realize exactly who you're dealing with here. Like you remembered what we're going after. You remember what's on stake. You ain't holding back no more.
Oh yeah, I put you in the corner. I, I told I told you. This match isn't just meant like even if you lose this match of uh, this 12 man fight, it still shows a great amount of honor to your name to push to push that hard. That sent him stumbling. You said Greendale Chevy. You said Chevy, and I started taking and using his shot. Using some Chevy style punches now. Two two so far. One, two. Well, round says otherwise. Absolutely terrifying power on display. Um, no, but then two. again, I don't recommend ducking. Three. Ducking's a poor form of a duck. You're gonna dodge, you wanna swing left or right. You gotta see which hand I'm throwing and dodge that way. Heat seeking missiles. Period. Apollo looks like he's going for the knockout. Will he regain his footing? Mine's not down yet. Man says before getting knocked out, then gets knocked out himself. So far, four to one. The champ is making sure to hold his word. Remember, it's even for me, even if I beat you seven, there's more to it than just letting you go to slow down. Even after the seven, I'm still pushing to beat you. Because, A, I got a reputation. Oh, yeah, yeah, you already slowing down. You went off strong these first rounds, I'll give you. And I will praise you, but that's why I uh, tell people. Like, that's why this match is such an honor to win. Because it's not about just throwing and winning the first few. Or trying your hardest. Especially fighting off somebody who hasn't been beaten. And after this week, eight months. You got... Oh, actually... No, actually, it is eight months. Today is the fourth. I have not been beaten in fight night for the belt in eight months. You got to remember this fact. I forgot that is a whole new month. And pretty much won the belt at this time. In the month. I'm pretty sure I won it at the 10th, but since I ain't, uh, since there ain't gonna be a fight night till then, is a month's time. Eight months I've been winning fight night as a whole, whether it's against you. Whether it's been against King, whether it's been against anybody, Spurn, I have faced in defeat. I have faced the likes of Koi Boy, an amazing fighter. If you've ever faced him, you know what it's like. I have TKO'd him. Even though it wasn't many times, have you ever managed to TKO Wolfpack? No? I've done it twice. Sure, it took a lot of work to do. I'm letting you catch your breath, by the way. I'm purposely letting you catch your breath. Oh, trust me. Oh, trust me. Oh, trust me. But this match is meant to push your endurance. This match is meant to push your endurance to where even if you lose this fight, either one of us lose this fight. It's not. It sucks. It will suck. But you can say you did something that everybody else in Fight Night could not do. This is a good set of training as well because when you hit future Fight Nights, you went 12 rounds, easy, back to back, no break, no nothing, and you're doing it against the hardest player in game, according to the belt. The guy who has the belt is the hardest player at the time. Even you know that during a fight, like uh, when you were fight night in a much more, back in the day with uh, Chevy and all them, you know the hardest guy and the best guy is the guy who's winning. The guy who has the belt's the toughest man. Add that with the guy who's had the longest belt ring. You know you up and got the cards against you, so to say you've managed to go 12 rounds against him, and the more you win, you can't say you won the belt, but you could be like, yo, I won 5 of 12. 
that that was a good impressive show most people came and put you down for one but to say you managed to pull off who knows how many is a miracle there's few people who can pull it off so even if you can't win this but you won't that's just how it is Something you need to realize is I've also modified my style of which I've been using against you every round to stop you from figuring out what I'm doing. And that is given a complete advantage to me. Because how tall do you stand? How tall are you, if you don't mind my asking? 6-1, you and I are about the same height. Here, come and meet me in the ring, but hold your arm out as far as you can. Hold your arm out. Just one arm and hold it out, right? You and you don't touch me, right? That gives an advantage. So if I'm throwing that hook from this far, I'm smacking you from a distance where you are going to have that problem. You are using quick, short-range punches, which are useful. You're quick about it. You're using a very nice style of flurry, but you're using a lot to my head to start. So that's why I keep putting my hands up, which is blocking. But on top of that, instead of taking and utilizing good combos to hit me, if you utilize that speed you're using for combos instead, you'd be getting a lot farther with me. You would be. But the problem is, is you go on flurry style, and that flurry style has worn you out, and you're just do you walking into my hands. You are playing my game right now. Keep that in mind. I'm teaching you as I fight you, so when I beat you, it's even sweeter. But you learn something, so you're harder to beat next time. When you're ready. Do not be afraid to use that range of yours. He's really if you get me into stagger, hit me with a combo instead of blurry punches. Stuff like that, that will reserve and recover your energy. I also know who you're playing as and I know your character's stats. I'm using base knowledge of the game as well as knowledge of my opponent to my advantage. You can't put together what's going on because I keep changing what I'm doing. Last round I fought like Chevy. This round I'm just fighting a little more like... Uh, fighting a little more defensive. This time I'm... Eh, I never said my defense was good. I always say it's shit. Ooh, a hard hit from Balboa. He lost his footing. One, two, Some. three, well, four. Yeah. And I'm five, going to be. I'm gonna be dead with you six, right now. This is round seven, six. We are about halfway eight. done with this entire event. There's a six round so far, and we're in round six of twelve. And I'm gonna be honest with you. Besides the fact that I have a massive amount of training gap in between the two of us, you all know why you ain't getting nowhere? Five to one. It's not my characters who's leading me to victory. Cause you've seen me use somebody like Scraps. You've seen me use everybody else before in ring and you've seen me destroy you with them. Do you all know why you ain't stepping up to the plate right now? And this is not just you, but this is every fighter in Fight Night. And I'm going to be dead with you all. This is what being an American is all about, is you guys have the opportunity to do something great. You have the opportunity to make the most of yourselves, and you are thriving to do that only half-ass. America is the land of opportunity. That is why I love this country so damn much. That's why I'm honoring it by giving a special event on its birthday. But the problem, though is until you guys start giving your best, you ain't getting nowhere. You have heart and you have determination to beat me. You don't have the physical ability to do it right now. I'm being dead ass with you. It's five to one, I just need to win twice over, and then I could slow down a little bit and not worry about the results. I walk away champion as long as I'm putting you down at least two, three times. 
and I still wouldn't have to worry about it. The thing is, is you and everybody else. King is a king has potential too. His problem though is he's not. He has excuses in the bucket. He has reasons why he ain't gonna win, and that's a problem. He has the potential to be a champion. He has the physical ability, but he ain't got the heart to do it. You have the heart to do it, but you're lacking physical ability to do it right now. Because just yesterday, it was about 80, 90 degrees outside. It was humid. It was stuffy. I went out, put my shorts on, and I was running. My kidney, or not my kidney, but my side was cramped up so hard. I was ready to fall. And I was still running in that heat. Because I wanted to push. Being Your determination isn't just good in the ring. It's good to train outside the ring. The reason I'm so strong is not because I work out here. Because my workout is in real life too. I do push-ups, pull-ups daily. I run miles every day. I work myself physically. I see the opportunity in front of me. And the reason why I've been able to take and keep these opportunities coming is because I have the ability, the freedom, and the privileges as an American to continue thriving to get them. That's something a lot of other Americans and people forget. You have what it takes for sure. But you need to start capitalizing on... Oops, I was about to change screen. You need to start pushing yourself physically a lot more not just you need to push yourself physically you need to go and think about this because obviously it's more than just the physical game you got one part you're missing the two parts a good fighter has three qualities to him he has heart he has knowledge he has power or the power is saying physical ability you have one and a half of those you have partial abilities if you put more work into it you got it you have partial knowledge of the game and of your opponent, but you ain't got the full thing because you're used to fighting certain ways. Push it, change it, think about it. That strategy you thought of last round, use it. It's a fresh round, you have fresh health, stamina, everything works for you. Now's the time to execute. Use the opportunity in front of you. Take what you think is yours. Although it's a long shot, at five wins to one, you can still make a 10 to or a 100 to 1 comeback. Hell, Spartan's done it. Chevy's done it. Wolfpack's done it. blow to his opponent. That's a solid blow. So, when I leave these next couple weeks, this or this next it. week and a half, two weeks, maybe I don't know. When I, uh, when there ain't no fight night, take that time to utilize some good training, some good work. I, I highly recommend trying to host fight night without me. I'll still be. I'll have my phone with me. I'll see everything y'all doing still. Hell, I'll even be the referee of these matches to make sure they <laughs> that they are valid. I hope that there is another champion when I come back. Apollo slams hard into his opponent. One, two. Oh, Apollo must have felt that one. Oh, I'm saying you're changing up a little bit. You, you being smart. That knocked him around. <laughs> Can't believe it! I hit One, your right or your left side this time. Two, I noticed you changed to your right three, side blocking notice or your left side. Four. I punched that way. This side is the one I was hitting. It don't matter what type of some uh when Spartan defends, why do you think Spartan constantly changes between the two? He's not as quick as I'm going, but you'll see him change quite a bit. He will duck a lot more, he will move. He has, can plant his feet. He has thought about these defense maneuvers. Hi there. So fluffy. Alright. When you're ready. When I see my... I don't care. A perfect hit 
from Apollo. One, two, What's your battery three, at? You could, uh, I'll give you a chance four, to, uh, five, being more at round seven. Six, I'll let you take seven, a look at your, uh, thing. And then, uh, tell me where you're at. Is that 9%? Damn. Alright. Yep. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, what a hit! Six to one. Round seven's over. It's an underdog story. That's what this entire thing is. Rocky Balboa was an underdog. If you, if you haven't noticed, this is pretty much a recreation of the Rocky film. The only difference though is Rocky was a nobody who got a chance at the belt and they were underestimated. I know what you're capable of. I know you have what it takes to be the champion. That's why I ain't going easy on you, but I ain't going all out on you either. I am fighting the max capacity I believe you need to win. Even against, actually, I'll play as Donnie because I lost him and I want to be redemption fight. Fuck it. Rocky Balboa had a zero to one underdog chance. He wasn't even believed to have even came close to winning the belt. He was expected to have been a one and done defeat. He was expected to be knocked out round three at best. Even Apollo himself was Creed in three. You were expected the same. I expect you to gas out. That's how you do it, Donnie! Shut the fuck up, Babor. A heart blood from Creed is a perfect reload. Man, it hits like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Let my words motivate you. Let them feel that fire, that passion. Let them egg you on to beat me more than the entire time. That's some of the reason why I'm telling you this now until after the match is because these emotions, these this energy, these words can fuel you to win. Punches like that, kid. One and the corner, two, laying down. Probably about three, to go to sleep. Four, five, see, six, strategy. There you go. Seven, eight. That's what I'm talking about. Nine. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That is what I was trying to egg you on to. That is what I was doing. When I've been coaching you and trying to go and fuel you up this fight and between the rounds, you know what I was actually doing for you? I was stalling it out so you could get the energy back. That is a cocky move. I've been doing it because I'm being lean with you. Like that, because I'm overconfident with my thing. My cockiness, you took care of me once finish. this round. And I believe you could do it again. One, Take these two, uh, advantages I'm giving out because three, I'm being overconfident with beating you four. and use it. You gotta be kidding me. Right now it's 3-3. Three, three. You had One, me you have me on the ropes two, again. Remember, you beat three, me once before when it was like this on Donnie. Four, five. That was well done though. You revised your strategy. Hell, you even noticed you could get up later. Instead of trying to rush up, you were trying to pressure me for sure. But you quickly, like, now that is seven to one. Even though you can't win, 
you still get the honor to say you finished out the 12. We are 12, or we are 8 out of 12, 7 to 1. Right now, there's no chance of winning the belt, but this is good training for you now. It's 7 to 1. I ain't gassing out. Oh, I ain't gassing out. Something I've... <laughs> oh, you think? It very well could happen. It could happen. You... Yeah, these next four rounds, we're going on to round... Hey, wait. Yeah, round nine. We are going on to round nine. I'll take the control of Adonis Creed once more. To go and uh, prove that it wasn't no fluke. Then I'll probably take control of Tommy Gun. I barely won with that one. That's in Russia. That's in Nevada. I don't remember where Nevada's at. I, I just don't remember which side. I think it's like the, the west side. So, let's go into. Yeah, I, I remember the uh, like desert stuff like that, more western side. But still, I ain't the smartest guy. But no, the way I see it is simple. Last round, I will point out a flaw you have. This is why I said I run a lot. Do you hear me breathing? And I've been trying to coach you on this entire time. These last eight rounds, I've been coaching you on talking this entire time. I did that over the top smart ass opening with you and I've been running my mouth using energy especially while punching you could still hear me talking but you don't hear me breathing that is because when I'm outside when I said I was running I was running to improve stamina to improve endurance you see why I do it now it's not just about in game here these people will quit round two to push your endurance you fight me Spartan Chevy Fari a big boy outside of fight night and try to see how long that they'll keep fighting you try like when i was fighting spartan i was gassed out i want to say it was the second time because we were throwing hands this is why i put fight night up for everybody to watch even like not just to get viewers to come in to want to join us because i want viewers to understand oh he likes a one two three four combo or whatever it may be or the what, whatever it may be. I want you to see how I'm doing things. You see what I'm saying? But I also want you all to understand and to watch how things are done and learn. So if you see past experiences, you could be like, that worked. That put him down. Or I'd be like, if you're studying Spartan, instead of watching his direct thing, and I advise you doing this as well. When we start Fight Night, if you have a channel, even if you put this private or unlisted, pull it up record while you fight even nobody's try to do it a lot with uh like fight night regulars record not 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 for the views but re-watch it yourself especially the fights you lost the ones you win re-watch it slow it down if you need to and then you could see instead of seeing me go pow, 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 or anything like that hell i've even pow, 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 you will see my arm moves in a particular way and you will understand how I'm hitting in certain these ways. So you can learn that. And you can see it from a third point of view of how I'm doing it. Turn around like next fight night when I come back from vacation. Like always I record. Record. I mean like the next one I'm a part of is what I'm saying. My next fight night when I come back from vacation. Obviously I'm going to have this recording. What Record that same fight night when we're together. Call me out if you're the lowest ranked or get to the finals. Make sure we fight again. Have both of us fight again. Win, lose, it don't matter about the results. Take, watch my segment against you and watch your segment. You see your 3D, like you'll see from my point of view as well as yours. And you can learn from my point of view and you can slow it down from your point of view to be like, oh, okay, okay, I see. You see what I'm saying? Three qualities that make a fighter a fighter is your physical strength. This comes down to your endurance, your punching power, your ability to go and react, your reaction time. Like your um, reflexes come into that. Your knowledge is not just about the game, but about your opponent. Heart, you got plenty of that. It's just your will to keep pushing as hard as you can. Got it? Round nine, when you're ready. 
There's a lot to being champion, not just being big and strong. Clever Lang was a big, strong guy. He lost because he wasn't strong enough. He lost to Balboa because he was. He didn't have everything. He was too stupid in the ring. No holding back. He got cocky over the top. Drago, the reason why he lost, he had the physical ability, and he would have had Balboa on the on the rope. He did. Why he lost is the lack of uh, knowledge, the experience it takes to beat Balboa. He didn't have it. Now's my chance. Oh. Hell yeah. How, uh, what's your percentage at with it? Two. Fifteen. I would keep it on until round 12 or round 11 12. I don't know how much percentage we got so after I beat you this game I'll give you time to put it back on if you want. Where am I? Where am I? Oh well you're right next to trash again your ass beat in the dumpster. I got this. I got this. Shut up. You just went down. One. What I'm saying? One. The reason why I'm not Two. taking time to get up Three. is because A, I'm finishing you out quickly and keeping pressure up because like I know that. I have endurance on you. <laughs> Knowledge of my opponent and myself. No Some of your back. knowledge also does come down to yourself, not your, not just the opponent or your game. Stop. Very nice. Now that you're keeping One, my character pressured, you're doing good. Two, three. Hell yeah. One, hey, two, be careful not to get. Three, it is okay four, to get annoyed. You could use it, but five, if you get too annoyed and too frustrated, that could blind you. Trust me, I have had it happen before. Now's my chance. You're going too low that time. Don't let up. Very nice. I'll fight Kevin Nash again. This time I'll take on uh, Tommy Gunn. I barely got the got away with the victory as Nash or a gun. Oh, this time. I was about to say this. This time you playing this one. We playing smart now, because now you going and evening out the stats. Now you got something like Hemper working for you. I figured uh, Clubber Lang was going to come in soon, actually. Clubber's strong, but he also has the downfall. Because he is, in fact, uh, low stamina, and he don't have the... Uh... Well, what I'm saying is Clubber compared to Dra or, yeah, Drago is in a, a great choice. The problem, though, is Drago is still very much too strong. Clubber's really strong as well. He's got the same power, but he don't have that cockiness to him. Like this endurance game. That knocked him around. One, two. I haven't even began to duck and dodge. Oh, you. Oh. You good? You good? I seen you're fixing your controller, so I was just making sure. When you ready. No, Body shots Five, work a lot. Two, Why do you think I go for the body a lot? Why do you think I encourage everybody else to? Three, four, Don't you kick me out that ring? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? One, the body two, shot. You you found something. Three. You managed to push me this far. That's the idea, see? Boom. 
We are on round, I do believe this is round 11 now. Two to eight. He has figured out his groove. Now you, three. You, you want me to take uh, Tommy Gunn up again, making sure my shorts are the right color. Like I said, I'm giving you the opportunity. I'm more than happy to give the opportunity. This is round 11. Yeah. It's 10, or it's 8 to 2, if I do believe correctly. And I am remembering correctly. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, One, you see, that's see, two. you had a good strategy last round. You had a great strategy last round. I took advantage because I realized what you're doing. Because once you start ducking, you're going for my body, and I noticed it. That's why you now see one hand covering the body, stopping you from doing it. But if you notice correctly, though, when you duck like that as well, you still manage to catch my uh, thing. You didn't go down with the headshots alone. It's only when you stand up straight that makes it tougher to hit those body shots. Or easier to hit those body shots for myself. You see what I'm saying? You're, what you do dictates how I fight. You found something that at the moment worked. It's not going to work now. I even told you it's not working. If you were to try it, you might catch me off guard. You might. But by trying it now, you know I'm alerted to what you're doing and I'm going to keep an eye open for it. So it's risky to try it, but it could catch me off guard too. going to let up on stamina too you also let me go on uh when you break off on uh, endurance to like uh one stagger you do have low endurance but if you can keep me staggered you keep me staggered it regains your stamina back yourself that's why i like choosing when and where to choose what you good You got a couple of rounds to get your shit together. Couple of rounds to get it together. We got an injury going down here, folks. Could code come back before round seven? That should be about um, about three, maybe four minutes. The, after this match, you have one more to go. After that, it's after this round, I'll be even telling you myself, I will be setting up and turning on the no rounds. I'll even tell you this much, that I'll be going as Apollo Creed during my final round. Right, you still have a couple of rounds. You have until round seven to get back in the fight. So if you need to still take a moment, you have a round and a half at most to come back. I'm just pacing behind or pacing in my uh, corner. I was about to say, you might want to plug in your headset, especially when you said moving ain't working. Maybe the idea of moving isn't what you need, but rather... A different form of defense. If you could duck with it, that's something that could work too, because your ducking method worked. One more round for uh, recoup time. Recalibrate yourself, recalibrate. 
you're facing a new direction. There you go. That helps a lot. That also goes and uh, determines some of those body shots you think you're throwing is missing. It's because sometimes your calibration isn't right. Are you ready to go back to the fight? Are you good to go? All right. You had until round seven to uh, confirm it. That punch. <laughs> One, <laughs> well, round two, seven's uh, up anyways. Three, <laughs> four. I was wondering why that. Six. Seven. I, I felt my controller was wrong, and that's when I'm like, what? Right. I have no idea. Right. Yeah, no, I didn't care about taking the shots on that one. I felt my controller was off, so I was like, no, nah, I'd rather take the hits. Fix it. I don't care about a round. Because, uh, oh, Six, when you auto-focus, that's because I'm not facing seven, the front of you. Eight, that's why I like recalibrating nine, as frequently as possible. That way I could calibrate appropriately, so I could always have the same shit. There goes your <laughs> oh, you were smart. You were smart. You let your stamina come back that loud. Very well. Two, three. Almost. We've been going at it for about an hour already. About an hour, hour and a half. Very nice. We have one more round. This is currently nine to two. Like I said, I am going to turn off rounds. And I am finishing the game as the prince of punch, the king of sting, the count of Monte Fisto, the one and only, the late Apollo Creed. I guess so. And the final round of this amazing championship event that has taken almost an hour's time. Oh, if you think you could do it, if you think you could pull that off. Anything and everything. I will even go all out for this round. I will duck and weave. I will do anything to beat you this round besides stagger hits. I will fight you with 100%. You have earned it for making it to round 12. You earned the respect to be called a true challenger and a true player instead of just a lucky fluke. Most players would have quit. You get everything I have in the arsenal. I'm going to punch... Oh, he's got to earn it. And we're going to do this in Washington, D.C. And the... You know what? Actually, that looks the closest to the uh, Rocky Stadium and uh, the third part. All right. Like I said, rounds are off. Apollo Creed is coming out 125%. Everything has here. This isn't for the belt, but don't mean... You won two... Out of the uh, 12 so far. Or out of the 11. It is 9 to 2. If you beat me here. You can say you did something that not Sp that Spartan himself could not have done since upgrading. Since he is upgraded to quest. Spartan has not. Like we went 12 rounds back to back. He won t two of those. If you beat me one more time. You could say you went and beat me more than Spartan did in a 12 round cup. In an Iron Man match. If you could beat me again, you get to say you did better than Spartan did in an Iron Man match. You could prove that even though he's my mentor, that he ain't shit. You're gonna make a mess of it. What a shot. Apollo really showing off power with that blow. 
Welcome to the boss battle, bitch. You're like, oh shit. I think you just realized what's about to come down. How much how much you got? How much percentage do you have? You know what that worked? To the end. What a hit, Apollo. He's a A powerful blow from Apollo ripped his opponent wide open. Oh, wait, do we see Apollo gains that? Remember, you also have my cocky working you right now. So you have regular pitting power again. You have cocky working for you, One, then you're back to- you're no longer weak two, now. Three, Take advantage of the time. Four, you're knocked down too. Five. Pulling that punch. One. Two. Three. Four, five, knock down three to six, two, seven. A hard punch from Apollo. Apollo catches his own and swipes the Very nicely done, man. You couldn't. You tied up with Spartan. Again, something that not many people could do. But you still kept at it to the end for 12 rounds. You are covered in sweat. You are ready to fall over, aren't you? You are tired, aren't you? You are ready to sit down and chug a bottle of water, aren't you? But you, now you understand why I said it is a glory. Even if you lost this fight, you could see why I said that is an, that the feeling of being here is a privilege. Like, when that final bell rings, you understand now why it is one of the greatest feelings to go this far in a special match type like this, don't you? Now you see why I said it was a great attempt, especially toward the end. It was a... Tremendous opportunity, or a tremendous set of uh, fights. The final outcome of this match, of the 12 rounds we got, 10 to 2 in the final rounds. I'm, ooh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just knock this guy out real quick. Well, I think something that you, uh, I think something that uh, you kind of also have to work on is your confidence. It works and it is very is nice. But the biggest thing is you have you you put a lot of self confidence in, in which was good. Corner, but like I said, your physical ability did not match because you noticed once I started ducking and weaving, you probably instantly were like, "Oh shit." He wasn't just talking arm power, he's talking real deal. Now, I'll even admit to you, my right rib cage, I feel my bone right now. From where I will admit, I am a little exhausted from trying to pull this. Don't let this get like, personal. Touch gloves and we can get started. But that was an impressive feat for you. This is it. Good game, man. Congratulations, but you're good.
And there we have it, folks. The winner of Fight Night. The one and only undisputed champion given the rest of the Fight Night. An opportunity for the undisputed championship. Your winner at 10 to 2 for the Fight Night. Retro Roxas. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>